breaking, four police officers assassinated. Iraq, four policemen, including a captain, were killed Monday in clashes with Islamic State ISIS, militants in Mosul City, a top security source announced. Speaking on condition of anonymity to Basno's website, the source said, ISIS cells clashed with security forces at Al Haramat neighborhood in western Mosul, leaving four policemen, including a captain, killed. The assailants fled the scene after the shooting and a probe was opened into the incident, the source said. The same source highlighted that local residents were reported to have seen three ISIS members roaming around Old Mosul, adding that a manhunt was launched in search for the trio, Iraqi news reported. Earlier in the day, three border guards were injured as a landmine exploded west of Anbar, a security source from the province was quoted saying on Monday. Basno's website quoted the source as saying, the landmine exploded after a military vehicle carrying border guards hit it at Ar Rutba town in western Anbar. The landmine is believed to be left over by Islamic State militants, who were pushed out of the province in November, the source said. He added that security troops started combing the area in search for other landmines. Earlier today AF reported that Iraqi troops, along with fighter jets killed and arrested more than 20 ISIS members and leaders west of Mosul. Security troops arrested, today, 17 ISIS members in al Rehaniya village and seized the weapons in their possession in Badush, west of Mosul, the source told Baghdad Today website. Moreover, the source added that eight members including three leaders were killed in an airstrike against al Shana mountain, in the wake of their attack against a checkpoint in Badush and fleeing to mountainous areas. Iraq declared the collapse of Islamic State's territorial influence earlier in November with the recapture of Rawa, a city on Anbar's western borders with Syria, which was the group's last bastion in Iraq, Iraqi news reported. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi announced in December full liberation of Iraqi lands, declaring end of war against IS members. However, Islamic State continues to launch sporadic attacks across Iraq against troops. Security reports indicate that the militant group still poses threat against stability in the country. The surge in violence between armed groups and government forces has resulted in over 3 million internally displaced persons across Iraq and left more than 11 million in need of humanitarian assistance, according to the UN Office for the Coordinated.